Hey, what's up everyone that watches this video for Monday, February 10th, showing you the spies I always do. Um, you had a red day, it's still sitting basically near all time highs. I think the Dow was down almost 300 points on Friday. Um, really fantastic week in the chat room. Um, a lot of great calls, a lot of great teamwork, and I'm ready to do it all again on Monday. Um, I don't have a really long list for Monday, and a lot of times you get this when the market's up near all time highs. You don't get a lot of standouts, you know, everything kind of goes into chop mode. But, you know, it's still a decent little list to start with. Keep in mind, none of these are investment ideas, and I will only trade any of these if I get an A-plus intraday setup. And as always, I will be in cash before the closing bell on Monday, cash every night. Um, but here are some things I'll be watching, and keep in mind, after, um, in addition to this list, we'll be looking for and adding morning gap plays to this list before the opening bell on Monday. So, should be plenty to trade. Um, I'm starting with Beyond, BYND, which had a nice little volume spike on Friday. <clears throat> and intraday had a pretty strong move, uh, 111.30 to 120.52. That's quite the move. But you notice it settled in uh, and closed at 116.44, so well off its highs. But seems to have found support at the 20-day and starting to curl back up. So we're going to keep our eyes on that one. I don't love the way this thing trades, but SDC... Um, topped out back here. Well, actually topped out when on, on IPO day, but then kind of put in a, um, a lower high at 1520. And then, I don't know, maybe three weeks ago, hit 1487. And then on Wednesday, hit 1479. And then on Friday, uh, 1492. So in short, you kind of have from here to here a cup and handle. It's interesting, uh, maybe through 15 with volume. Again, I don't like the way this thing trades um, but maybe it gives a great setup. You never know. LPTH, strong volume, uh, closing well off its highs. Had a nice trade in this one on, um, on Friday. And, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe it gives a, uh, another setup on Monday. Um, Tesla. Let me show you five-minute camps. Tesla, of course, had this crazy move back here. Then the big red day. Then the gap down but closed green. Gap down, closed green again. A very, this is funny. A very narrow range on Friday, right? I say that and I'm hovering over the candle and it was in a $39 range. So who would have thought you'd call $39 in one day um, a tight range for Tesla, but that's that's where we are right now. Uh, <clears throat> show you five minute candles. There's your opening five minute candle right there on Friday. And what do you notice? Never broke it to the highs, never broke it to the lows. So you've got a stock that Crazy strong, then kind of a nasty sell-off, and then you have a quiet day. I'll be looking for it. I'm leaning, well, I'm leaning. I don't short, basically, so I'm leaning long if I get a setup, right? I'd like to see kind of another narrow day, all things considered, and then maybe an afternoon break out of the range to the upside. I will certainly get long some Tesla for a trade. <clears throat> NH, you had this big pop back here, kind of a secondary pop on Thursday, and Friday was just kind of a quiet inside day. I like this back through too on Monday if it happens. Uh, <clears throat> Y-T-E-N. Big pop on Thursday. It doesn't look that big, but it went from 650 to 11 in one day. And then on uh, on Friday, it actually hit 1469 before coming all the way back down to 868. So that's a weird just two-day action, right? Um, for, but it's still above where it started on uh excuse me on thursday so i think we might i think this one's worth watching for a turn back up on monday all right i'm not in love with it but it's, it's got a tiny float now and it should catch some attention because of the last two days so i want to watch that one um <clears throat> i'm gonna make this short and sweet i'm really coming down with something here as far as hopefully it's not the coronavirus um irbt big pop on thursday kind of a quiet inside day giving you know a portion of thursday's game back on friday on much lower volume. So I'm kind of looking for a third day play there. You big pop, quiet day. Sometimes you get a third day uh, push again, right? Uh, I didn't type that right. BTU, really big pop on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, a couple days lower on declining volume. We'll look for that one to turn back up. <coughs> Excuse me, couple more. Glue, G-L-U-U, big breakout on Thursday. Gave some back on Friday on lower volume. Again, we're looking for a third day play there. And then MYO, I really don't like having this on the list, but had such a crazy move from like seven bucks to that same day 35 and then the next day 40-ish. And then two days later, now you're all the way back down in the 15s. Um, you know, that's crazy action. 
But if we get a narrow range and an you know an afternoon breakout, I think you could get a little mini squeeze on this one too. So that's everything I'm watching. And as I said earlier, we'll add gappers to this list in the pre-market. I uh, can't say enough about the teamwork and chat. Let's keep that going next week. And we'll see you in chat on, in the morning.